What's up guys, BMC76 here with RC Jedi. I'm going to show you how to make a solid carbon boom for your Nano CPX. What I have here is a stock MCPX tail that I tried for my brushless setup. I did not like the extra length. Um, tail motor is still good, so uh, we're going to get the, uh, the motor out of here. Uh, we're going to unsolder the plug, which is real easy, and we're going to split the carbon shaft in half, pull it out, and uh, pull the motor out. And then we'll have the, ho the uh, holder and we will put everything back on a solid carbon boom. Alright, so I've got a uh, length of 2 millimeter or .080 solid carbon fiber boom. I've got um, the full length of an old split MCP or uh, nano shaft to judge the length. So I'm just going to measure it right there the correct length and I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut the carbon fiber rod with the X-Acto knife. Alright so I cut the, uh, cut the carbon fiber rod to the correct length. I'm just going to kind of clean up the edges here. I uh, had a dull blade on the X-Acto so I had to clean that up a little bit with some sandpaper. Yeah. Alright, so it's cut. Now we're going to uh, <clears throat> we're going to file it off the little notch. You see about uh, I don't know, about a quarter inch down. There's a little notch cut in there so that it sticks into the notch part of the frame and we're going to go ahead and file that down now. Alright, there you can see that we filed a little notch down on one end. I'm going to go ahead and put the solid uh, the solid um, rod down for a minute and we're going to go ahead and um, and pull the old boom apart. Alright guys, first thing we're going to do is um, pull the plug off of the uh, off of the wire here. It's real easy to do. I'm just going to pull the shrink wrap back with my uh, fingernails and um, then we'll use the, uh, the hot iron to uh, melt the solder and it's very easy to solder back so uh, don't get intimidated after we show that. You shouldn't be nervous about it. Alright, you can see that I peeled back the uh, shrink wrap, uh, the green wire actually, the uh, solder joint came apart. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and use the hot iron and uh, separate the plug from the uh, wire. And you can see that the green wire goes on the green, on the uh, marked green side of the plug there. So it's really easy to remember where it goes. Alright, so I got the hot, uh, hot soldering iron, I'm just going to separate the plug, just touch it on the joint and pop right off. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, use something to kind of crush the uh, the end of the boom here carefully, very carefully so that it'll split. And then I'm going to split it down the middle and pull it out of the tail housing and then push the motor out and then we're ready to go. So, just use this end of the rubber mallet here there we go. That should have done it. And I'll go ahead and do a little more. Alright. So be careful not to uh, not to damage your wires when you do this. Alright, so got the wires separated and we're gonna we're gonna push the uh, push the motor out of the holder and pull the wires out of the holder. There we go. Pull it the rest of the way out. There we go. Now we got the holder and the motor, and no wires are damaged. So we're ready to start putting everything onto the solid boom. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to put a very, very tiny, tiny dab of CA on the solid boom. I'm going to insert it, I'm going to insert it into the holder. So that way if I need to separate it, I can. There we go. Now we're going to run the wires straight out the back. And 
straight out the back there and push the motor in. There we go. All right, so uh, I filed a notch on the other side of the uh, the frame side of the uh, boom, and the notch goes on the bottom. And I'm gonna I'm gonna insert it into the frame and make sure that it clicks in place. good. Um, go ahead and pull it out. Okay, I'm going to pull it out and I've already trimmed a piece of heat shrink here. So I'm going to use a heat shrink rather than wrapping them around the boom. You don't want them to short out. That can, uh, can fry your board. So, alright, so, so we'll shrink that up and then we'll solder the plug back onto the, uh, back onto the wires. Alright, so we're ready to start the soldering. I uh, got a couple of pieces of uh, heat shrink and slid them over each wire. Alright, now I'm going to flux. I'm going to apply flux to both ends of the wires and to the um, to the uh, connector points here. Got my uh, soldering iron heated up. I'm going to get it to uh, tend a little bit, kind of bump off the any excess solder there. All right. Now I'm just going to take uh, just put a little flux on the end of this uh, on this thing here. Put a little bit there, and I'm going to flux the connectors, and then I'm going to tin everything. All right, <clears throat> All right so I put a little bit of uh, solder on the end of the iron, and you can hear that flux uh, sizzle like a frying egg once it touches. Get a little tiny coating of solder on there. Alright. That's the wires and now we'll do the same thing for the for the contacts. Let me get a little more solder on here. Wipe off that tip, <clears throat> and I'm going to apply a little bit more flux. So that way, when we go to solder the two points together, that flux really sucks the solder in, and uh, it makes a it makes a, a good joint, and it uh, makes the solder flow really well. I'm not exactly working from a comfortable position here trying to get everything on camera, but I'll do my best here. Remember the green wire, the green wire goes on the uh, on the marked end of the plug. So let me see if I can hold this here. My hands are a little shaky. And If you don't have to worry about getting this on camera, really spend a little time setting up a very comfortable um, angle. All right, there we go. That's it. Soldered up. Now we'll just slide up the shrink wrap and heat it up, and uh, should be about done. All right, guys, there it is. Um, solid carbon fiber tail boom. 
very easy to make and uh, cheap to replace. So, uh, and I've had my solid boom on my MCPX for a year and I haven't broken it yet. So, uh, nice little mod. Adds a little, bit, uh, adds a little bit of weight, but um, honestly, with the brushless setup, I don't, I don't even notice the extra weight. So, uh, I hope this video helps you guys.